Hi everybody, uh, I'm going to do a demonstration video of how to do an ILS approach in Flight Simulator. First thing you're going to need to do is gather your ILS information, which means you're going to have to go to your world up at the top left after you press Alt on your uh, keyboard, and then click on the map, and then you're going to have to click on the you'll have to click on the um, airport on the map and then you find the runway that you want to land on that has an ILS frequency and ILS capable runway and from that you'll need the ILS frequency as well as the ILS heading once you have that when you're flying towards the airport you're going to want to get on the runway heading and line up with the runway as best you can from I'm, I would say like at least 10 nautical miles away and so then you put in your your heading on your heading adjust knob right by your heading indicator and that in my case it's 221 degrees and you'll put in um, an altitude that you want to fly at towards the runway I suggest about 2,000 feet above the runway or so to find the glide slope. From there you're going to open up your radio stack panel which I already have and you're going to tune into this standby feature of your navigational equipment. You're going to uh, program the ILS frequency in which in my case was 110.300 and as you can see it's already on my active from there you're going to then turn on the approach hold switch and as you can see my heading uh, hold turned off because it's going to line itself up with the runway and once I get to the glide slope um, you'll see that the altitude hold switch will turn off as well and it'll start its uh, descent towards the runway From there, your main job will just be to uh, maintain the speed so that you don't stall during approach, and also you don't want to approach the runway too quick. I suggest you approach the runway at about 70 to 80 knots, slowing to about 70 before you uh, 70 and under before you touch down. in a couple seconds you'll see that down on the right hand corner the altitude hold switch will turn itself off like I said when it will find the glide slope and you'll start descending at about 500 feet per minute towards the runway now I'm not doing a very good job um, maintaining my speed but I'm trying to focus a little bit more on uh, telling you guys how to do it there we go, that's better now obviously the more flaps you're using the slower you can go without stalling I've got like uh, a notch or two of flaps down can't remember um, but obviously once you start your descent like I have as you can see the al the altitude hold switch has been turned off you're gonna notice that if you don't throttle down you're gonna accelerate faster due to the decrease in altitude now if you guys have any questions about anything that I do during this video um, don't be afraid to leave a comment. I'll answer whatever I can, and if I can't answer it, then I'll either find out the answer for you, or hopefully one of our viewers on the video will be able to answer your question. If the video helps you out, uh, you could like it, and also subscribe, and it would help out my channel.
A very important factor is that before you even start the flight, it's a good idea to get all the information you need and write it down. Uh, definitely whenever I'm doing ILS approaches, I have everything written down on a piece of paper in front of me just so I have my numbers. And I'm not trying to pause the game, pause the simulation and look for all the information I need. It takes the simulation part away from it. Obviously, you use the ILS landing feature for when the weather is not too good. It's obviously perfect right now, and I, th I just thought that that would be the best way to show you so that you actually have something to look at other than just a bunch of fog. Now some of you might say that I've said some things that were incorrect in the video and that's fine. Just know that I'm not trying to claim that I'm a pilot of any sort. I have flown, but um, I'm just giving uh, a tutorial of how to actually do the ILS landing in Flight Simulator. I think that, uh, you know, it's a good thing to know how to do. Alright, take the autopilot off, decrease the speed, line up with the runway, and cut the throttle, flare, touch down. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.